Hello, best friends. This is your best friend, Sam Pura. And today, I am honored and proud to introduce to you our first compressor plugin from my company, Purified, the VU Compressor. This compressor is packed with four of my favorite hardware VU compressors all in one plugin. It also features a bottom and a top shelving EQ, along with a sidechain high pass filter, model THD harmonic control, and a handy mix knob. Let's jump into the computer and I'll show you this thing in action. So here it is, the VU compressor. It starts with its beautiful purple backlit VU meter which you can turn on and off with the power button here, which bypasses and activates the plugin. So let's talk about the most important controls on this compressor. First, we have the compression type switches. The most important feature about this compressor is that it includes four different models of analog compression in one unit. Therefore, when you're switching between A, D, F, and 3A, you are choosing between four different compressors. That's what makes this plugin so beautiful and powerful, is it's not just one compressor, it is four different compressors in one interface. So the first compression type is A. This is modeled after the famous Blue Stripe revision. This is the one that everyone loves on vocals because it's the most popular vocal compressor from one of the most popular mixers of all time. The second compression type is D. Now this is the standard blackface revision, the one that everyone is used to. The third compression type is F. Now this is a more modern sounding version of the blackface compressor. The last compression type is the 3A. This is based on one of the most popular compressors used on guitars and vocals. The main controls for this compressor are the input and output knobs here. One of the handy features is you can use the auto gain and it will increase the amount of input while simultaneously decreasing the output so you can adjust how hard you are hitting the compressor without any volume increases. The next control is the THD knob here. This controls the amount of saturation happening inside of the compressor. You can use this to exaggerate the saturation and or you can decrease the saturation. A good example of this is something like vocals or overheads. Once you get the amount of compression hold that you're after, you can then exaggerate that saturation and or decrease the amount of saturation that's happening. The next control, a control that actually doesn't exist on the hardware units and only exists in this compressor plugin, is the sidechain high pass filter. Activating this is going to roll off the amount of low end the compressor sees and it's going to allow your low end to open up. The next controls are the bottom and top knobs. Now what these are controlling is some broad shelving EQ to help you refine and smooth out your signal, and you can do this either pre or post compression. And lastly, another control that doesn't exist on the hardware units themselves is a mix control. This allows you to use this plugin for parallel compression. So now let's play with this in a mix. First, let's hear the song as it is with no compressors activated. <laughs> All right, so the first thing I wanna play with is I wanna play with this compressor on the kick drum. So the first thing to note is that compression type D, F, and 3A are all very popular kick compressors. I'm gonna go ahead and mess with the compression type and play with the amount of compression that's happening. Okay, that's starting to sound pretty good. D sounds a little bit more punchier than F. 3A held really well, but I think D had this vibe and this gloss that I was looking for on the kick. It also opened up the second I hit the side chain high pass filter and ended up sounding bigger. So now let's play with the EQ and the amount of saturation that's happening.
Okay, that's sounding great. So the first thing I did was I decreased the amount of saturation to clean up the kick sound. Then I played with this bottom end and I found that the post EQ sounded bigger than the pre EQ. And surprisingly, the top EQ sounded better on pre than it did on post. So that's a good example of having the pre and post switches independent of each other so that you can do the top band differently than you would the bottom band. So now let's play with it on snare. Again, same thing goes as the kick. The D, the F, and the 3A are really popular sounds, and the A is also a very useful compressor if you want to smash that snare and get a lot more vibe. So let's play with the compression type and the amount, and let's see what we can do. Okay, that sounds pretty good. 3A sounded really good. Super punchy, super consistent, and in my face. Let's play with a sidechain high pass filter, the THD knob, and the EQ, and let's see how far we can go. All right, that's sounding great. I increased the THD knob to get a little bit more saturation. I liked how it sounded with the sidechain high pass filter engaged, and I really liked both EQs on post compression. All right, so let's play with this on toms. Your guess is as good as mine as to what compression type is gonna sound best, so let's just get started. Okay, surprisingly, A sounded great. It just sounded a little bit more glossy, a little bit more consistent, and uh, it held really well. So let's play with the sidechain high pass filter, the THD knob, and the EQs, and let's see what we can get. Sounds great to me. I decreased the amount of saturation with the THD knob. I didn't like how the sidechain high pass filter sounded, so I left that disengaged. And then I set both EQs to post compressor because they just sounded smoother and bigger to me. Okay, so now let's play with these on overheads. By this point, you know the drill, so let's just get started. Okay, sounded really good. I used the 3A compression type because it held really nicely. Then I decreased the amount of saturation here with the THD knob so that we can make sure that it held without a lot of saturation. Lastly, I really liked the EQ decreased pre-compressor on the bottom end so that I could carve out a little bit of low end. And lastly, I increased this top knob post compressor to add just a little bit of sparkle. Okay, the last thing to play with would be our room microphones. So let's get started.
There we go. Now those are sounding a lot bigger. I used the F compression type because it sounded like it was smashing those transients a little harder and giving it more attitude. I decreased the amount of saturation with the THD knob. I liked how it sounded with the sidechain high pass filter on. And then I had both EQs on post compression to add a little bit of bottom and a little bit of sparkle. Okay, so now let's listen to those drums with compression and without. Sounds great. Sounds much more punchy, a lot more glossy. It has a lot more attitude and vibe. It sounds excellent. Now that we've compressed all the channels, let's play with the drum bus compression. So I'm gonna start with D and F compression type because those are the most popular drum bus sounds. Let's give it a shot. D definitely sounds like the more aggressive, more modern and familiar drum bus sound that I'm used to. Let's play with the rest of the controls and see what we can get. Okay, sounds great. We're using D compression type. We increase the THD and saturation control just a little bit to give it a little bit more hold and edge. I really liked it with the sidechain high pass filter on. I added a little bit of low end and I did so post compression because it sounded bigger and a little bit more rounder. And surprisingly, I liked the top end pre compression because it held things together a little bit more and sounded like it was glued together. Now let's try some parallel compression by playing with this mix knob. Okay, that sounds great. Okay, now let's activate and bypass this and see how it sounds. Sounds great. Has nice hold, sounds glossy, sounds punchy, sounds big. Everything you want out of a drum bus compressor inside this plugin. Now let's move on to bass. Typical settings for bass are using the compression types D, F, and 3A. So let's play with those and see what we can get. I definitely like the F setting, it sounded most modern to me. D was just a little too much and 3A wasn't doing anything I really loved. Now let's play with the rest of the controls and let's see what we can get. Okay, I liked it with the sidechain high pass filter on, I decreased the amount of saturation with the THD knob, and I added a little bit of bottom post compression and a little bit of top EQ post compression. Let's listen to that with the drums and let's turn it on and off and see how it sounds. Sounds excellent. Punchy, round, consistent, everything you want out of a bass sound. Now let's move on to keys. 
So I'm gonna use this on the key bus. So I'm gonna play with all the controls here, including the mix knob. Let's see what we can get. All right, sounding great. I really liked 3A on this because it's really nice to use the 3A compressor to get a nice smooth, consistent sound. The A, D, and F modes all had a good compression characteristic, but it was too much compression for this bus work that I'm trying to do with this. I decreased the amount of saturation with the THD control. I really liked it with the sidechain high pass filter in, and then I liked it with both EQs post compression. Lastly, let's play with this mix knob and see how much better we can make it sound. Now let's play this back and I'll bypass it and activate it and we'll see how it sounds. Sounds excellent to me. Much more consistent, much more glossy in the mix. All the vibe that I want out of my key bus. So for this, I'm also going to use this compressor on the guitar bus. So let's play with all the controls. Typically, people like the 3A and or the D compressors on guitars. So let's see how those sound. All right, those are sounding much bigger and much more present. I really like the decompressor compared to the 3A, just had a little bit more edge and a little bit more attitude. And I liked increasing that with the THD and saturation control. I also liked it with the sidechain high pass filter on, and I liked a little bit of both EQs post compression. Lastly, I used the mix knob for a little bit of parallel compression action just to decrease the amount of compression happening. Let's play those back in the mix and I'll bypass the compressor. They really just pop right out of the mix and come to life with this compressor. Sounds excellent. And the last one we're going to play with is everyone's favorite, vocals. Most people's favorite compression type for vocals would be A and or 3A. Another really popular one is D. So let's play with all of them and see how they sound. Kinda like it in a low key. Sammy's arms in a fight. We only know where the beat is when. We tap a feet on time. All right, I really like it on A. Just sounds really glossy, really consistent, and like the classic vocal compression sound that I'm going for. Let's play with these controls and see how far we can go. Kinda like it in a low key. Sammy's arms in a fight. We only know where the beat is when we tap a feet on time. Don't expect that you find it ever again if you stop. They say it's all about the rhythm, but 
I'm everywhere that it's not kind of like it in a low key. Okay, it's sounding great. I decreased the amount of saturation happening. I used the sidechain high pass filter, and I liked both EQs pre compressor so that I could bite down on that vocal a little bit harder by increasing those. Okay, so let's listen to these in the mix, and I'll turn this on and off. All right, it sounds so much better activated. It sounds right in my face, really glossy, really consistent. When I bypass it, it just gets further back in the mix and just sounds lifeless and boring. So now that we've played with all these on every channel, let's hear that back on the entire mix and I'll bypass all the plugins and engage them. So there you have it, the VU compressor. It sounds great on the mix, adds all that life, all that dimension, all that size, all that gloss, all that attitude and punch that you want from a compressor. So there you have it, the VU compressor, available now at purified.com. Isn't that awesome? If you thought this was awesome, be sure to hit the thumbs up, ring the bell, and subscribe for future notifications from Purified. Be sure to leave a comment down below and let us know your thoughts on this compressor. And if you have any future plugin ideas you want to see, let us know. And thanks to you, my best friend. See you next time.